class. Since I finished Dead Space, we'll be starting Call of Cthulhu. Yeah. I just realized it has my, my username at the top. <laughs> That's cool. I didn't notice that at first. I am mad at his mercy. May the gods pity the man who, in his callousness, could re remain sane and to the hideous end. H.P. Lovecraft. What the fuck? Oh, sure. Is this supposed to be the beginning of the game? Because I don't think it is. I'm kind of confused. I did hit new game, and I didn't have any save slots. Game fucked up, put me like near the end. I'm gonna be pissed. Go on the boat. Okay. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Fuck that. Bolt cutter. Sweet. Now I can go through the gate. I'm still confused. I don't think this is how I'm supposed to start off. Stay crouched. What a putrid offering. Fuck you. Oh, it's this one. This button. Okay. Behold. Everything has already been written. The fuck? But perhaps you will attempt to change your destiny. Oh shit. The fuck? Maybe that was at the beginning. I hate whiskey. <laughs> I wonder why I still take these things. 
Oh. Back to subscribe them when I return from the war. They swore that, that they would put the end to the nightmares, but for now, for a while now, this, their effect has been wearing off. Okay, I'm gonna have a drink. Wow. I was choosing the wrong one. Fuck yeah, alcohol. It's been a while <laughs> since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Oh, sweet. Here's fantasy shapes. Dr. Ken, well, repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay. But I know if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams. But they are different, unknown. I seem to surface from it, from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? Uh, Cthulhu. I answered your question for you, pal. Objects, strength, crystal power. We're just going to increase your chance of forcing doors for making some or using violence during interactive discussions. Okay, so I'm probably going to increase strength and in medicine. Whatever comes to it. Shut the fuck up. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. The good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed this, this case, but when you're already outside the law, there's a lot, not a lot one can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. Or fucks the phone. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sharonfield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? Eight CP. Oh, I can't do any more. Oh, so that's how that works. Okay. All right. I don't think I have any more. Yeah, I don't have any more. No. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency and we'll license you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce? I'm coming. <laughs> Who the fuck is this old guy? Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair.
You're free to leave anytime, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? Oh, if fuck you. you. Me, it means you're in this place. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. A warehouse on Dark Water. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. Shipping labels on of his unreadable. Then I can make out part of the address. Warehouse 36, Dark Water. Friendly support. It says there's a fire starting in the dining room and claim the whole family. The police decide on a domestic accident. But they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental fertility. Why? A press cutting an article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins. With this man from the island of Dark Water, they live their recluse life there with their only son, Simon. Its strange beauty isn't enough to hide the feeling of dread it carries. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? Hmm. Dark water. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want Who to the ship fuck me keeps off. Honking? Dark water holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Her husband was a big deal on the island. The police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mention Sarah's mental state as such. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. Fuck says who are these fucking song that whole only clue. I'm trying to play the game. Promontory painting. Well, I know it all gets from in the game, right which means I can beat the shit out of it. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You will be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. 
I Whoa. Like I have a choice. Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information. Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But oh. I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with many memories left by its lost tribes. We don't let the romanticism of those moving evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. A gigantic creature still ornates the walls of long abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows. But today, inhabitants, sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters, still remember the mysterious and tumultuous story of their small land off the coast of Massachusetts. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat. Married woman runs off with. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. The husband couldn't understand it. It's been understood that his wife had left him. He kept calling me weeks after investigation had been closed. Oh, learning of medicine. Then, smart aim at interns and young practitioners. This first flying lists all illnesses known in the civilized world. It details symptoms and and suitable treatment. Okay. Oh, I get a little description of each. Wealthy business sign as well. Respected in the Boston area, Stephen Webster came to see me and heard that I investigate the death of his only daughter, Sarah Hawkins. The man accepts neither refusals nor inconvenient truths. He is ready to do anything to prove his daughter was not mad. Okay, so basically... We already know... Everything. A lighter. <laughs> By all lighter, I, I engraved the memory of the 77th Infantry Division and the men of the lost battalion who fell. Okay, so everything's checked now. Swear I used to be an avid reader. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. Ah. Well, I guess I can leave now. Checked everything in my room. Well, enter madness. Oh, Beginning credits. Wait, does she have a sale?
was there. Oh, all right. Totally not gonna let Thu do it, do their thing though. Not at all. Oh, uh, Scylla. It's one of the Greek monsters. Yeah, it was, it was that weird Hydra similar thing. And it had a bunch of heads that so would wait on two ways, uh, like with Cherry Bits. I think he had to give some in, but not all. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Reese. Why, thank you, Captain Hunter. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Uh, I said so. Charles Hawkins may have been a landowner, but he was a good one. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman and a great painter of life. You know what? Go have a drink of the stranded whaler. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As uh -oh. for me, you'll find me at the harbor master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Okay. I think she knows secondary objectives first. That way, I get more shit, shit and knowledge. Give me more than knowledge. Oh, you bitch. Prepare to get your face punched. Oh, that's even better. So you get, motherfucker. What the fuck are you? Let's get him another drink. Try. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. Pure instinct. I behaved like a hun. And I sincerely apologize. Veteran, huh? 307th Infantry Regiment. Oh. Well, that'll be okay for now. But the war is over. Try not to forget it. What I'm war? here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. You know where this place is. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Well? Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. What Screams. the fuck? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? Hmm. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland. Getting all the information I need. Never understood why. Then, 
I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. Oh? What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? I've got what I need. Anything else? The stranded whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. Oh? When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. You want a drink? I wouldn't say no to a glass. Try this. What the fuck is that? I think we'll get along well. Let's all affect your destiny. That'll be all for now. Okay, so we got far. Wait, who the fuck are they? I'm really curious on who the hell you are. What you looking at, stranger? The clientele is predominantly male. Tell me something I don't know. I meant nothing. I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. And I'm wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. Let me drink, stranger. Okay, so that wasn't Bradley. Who the fuck's Do you Bradley? you like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Dark Okay, Island. I'd like to hear the song. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. It's a local legend. Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Huh. Where's the proof? We're the proof. Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. What report? The one that's framed right behind you. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. I bid you farewell, Gilman. Good night. Stranger. So long. I have the wind of the sun. That's probably Bradley. The miraculous catch. Apparently the most significant event of the last eighty years. Nechanti, twenty first may eighteen forty seven. Miraculous catch. The Scylla returns to port to save Dark Water from famine. Made a given hook. Given up hope, the crew of Scylla, or what remains of it, returned to Darkwater Port late on Tuesday afternoon. Locals immediately rushed to the docks to welcome the last fallen ship on the island. Gore amazed at the sight of the unbelievable catch the brave vessel had on board. But a sigh that went beyond that of a memorable toothed whales. The Cetacean that has already been being called a miraculous catch covered a whole deck. And parts of it were hanging over the side of the ship. The surviving sailors told a frightening amount of their perilous catch, but also its meat, unmatched in its quality and plentiful nutritious benefits. There is no doubt that the immense size of this whale will allow numerous inhabitants of Darkwater to feed themselves. 
bringing an end to the famine from which part the island was suffering. Warehouse for rent. Mr. Marx is putting his warehouse up for rent from June for fishing, workshop, or storage activities. You can contact him via your favorite newspaper or visit him on the docks. Special evening at, at this train at Whale. Celebrate the return of our brave whalers. All the staff of the train at Whale invite you to an, an exceptional and free tasting event. Come with your family or with friends to taste the miraculous catch. Each person will, will leave with a bottle of oil, so don't hesitate. Okay. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various Fair locations. Drake, not Bradley. Gifted with its own consciousness. Until it finds a new reader. That's Asylum Staff. I gotta find where fuck Bradley is. Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. I'm probably right over here. Let the police do their work. The same goes for you, sir. Move ah, on. Mrs. Bradley. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36. Darkwater Harbor. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Killer whales have few predators. And there are no sharks in these waters. What creature could possibly have done this? You can't understand. You're not sailors. Okay. There's something coming. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this former cat. Captain, the terms of our agreement are clear. Keep your men under control. You, you cannot afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payment to the carrier. Cat. Basilla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. 